зараз я радий привітати Олену Вебенденко, вона Sales and Support Team Lead у Kiev Top. Вона розкаже нам про помилки, які може, можуть припуститися кожен, розробоч... кожен розробник перед початком а, просування свого додатку за допомогою ключів. Тож я запрошую Олену. Олена, вітаю вас. Всім привіт. Так, я радий вас бачити. Я включаю вашу презентацію і я надаю вам Супер, слово. Дякую. У вас є 20 хвилин. Дякую вам. Дякую. Всім привіт. З вашого дозволу переключуся на англійською. Сама доповідь буде англійською. So, uh, my name is Elena. I am sales and support team lead at KeyApp. KeyApp is a platform for app analytics and for app keywords promotion. So, if to talk about my past in mobile marketing, actually it was started almost three years ago when I joined KeyApp and at this stage I have been already working with different apps categories to help them to get top positions in the list of the apps, both on the Google Play and App Store. Uh, today, uh, we will talk about five main mistakes app developers may make before starting actually any type of promotion, but particularly keyword promotion. We will focus on how ASO influences the app success in keyword promotion, if it is important to pay attention to app reputation and to work with this part, and of course, how to boost your app to top for search requests effectively. Uh, if to talk about key app, uh, we have already more than five years of experience in keyword promotion. That's why within this particular period of time, we managed to develop different strategies and approaches for keyword promotion, both on Google Play and App Store. And among the services we provide, of course, first of all, I would like to focus on free app analytic tools. And we are trying to make the process of promotion for our customers as easy as possible. Of course, keyword installs, which help your app to get top position in the list for the search request. And also we help to work with app reputation. So basically, let's start. Uh, according to the statistics provided by ASO agencies, almost and more than 35% of traffic app gets is search traffic. Search traffic is organic one. And uh, to tell the truth, actually, it is the most important source of traffic the app may get as when users download the app from search, they already know what they are looking for and which app they would like to download. But if, to be honest, when you develop the app, actually, mostly you focus on graphics, features, and attention to app store optimization and keywords uh, themselves is not paid or maybe not paid. So the first mistake I would like to focus in is not paying attention to app store optimization and believing that keyword install services only can help you to get organic traffic. Actually, a app store optimization is a process of improving app visibility and increasing app conversion rate. At this stage, you may ask why you do need to spend a lot of time trying to optimize the app, looking for the keywords. The answer is pretty simple. It is needed to help your users, your potential users, to find your app on a store and download it. So the way the algorithm work, uh, they analyze all the tags you create and then decide if the app should be found for a particular keyword. But uh, to be honest, uh, app store optimization is not only about tags. It is a kind of difficult process which should be done on a permanent basis and not only one time before you add uh, the app to the store. It is a process which also includes visuals, localizations, app translation, and all these uh, uh, factors. So most probably, if you do not pay attention to this part, the app may not get the organic installs from search. Uh, the second mistake is not working with keywords and not to create the keywords researches on a permanent basis. It is needed. Uh, just to understand what uh, keywords the app has at this stage and what new keywords the app can get in the future so to get organic traffic. 
Uh, when you gather the keywords for the app, I would recommend to you to focus on the next steps. First of all, think as your potential user and think for which search request your app can be found. Then uh, brainstorm with the team. Also, it is obvious that for sure it is needed to check competitors. In competitors' text, you will be able to check which search requests, so keywords, were added and how they use them. And of course, use app analytics services. They are quite helpful. First of all, they can help you to get the suggested keywords for your app and of course to check the search request popularity to check the current position of your app for the particular keyword the third mistake is focusing only on brand keywords uh, for example just now you can take your phone go to google play or app store and type any any brand keyword you think about any brand uh, search request for example subway surfers fruit ninja even Tinder, and it is obvious that the first position uh, will be occupied by the brand app. The question here, if uh, the apps which are lower in the list will be downloaded by organic users. Actually, we can make the uh, assumption that yes, that in most cases, uh, the brand app will uh, get all the traffic almost 80%. And also the brand app will usually occupy top one. So it may take a lot of resources for you to boost the app for such keywords and even to get into the index for such keywords. The first mistake is thinking that app metrics do not influence the app promotion at all. That's not true. And all the app metrics in app activity, conversion rates, uh, reviews and race uh, influence the success of any kind of promotion and particularly the success of uh, keyword promotion. And the fifth mistake is not working with app reputation. It has the same logic as the previous one, um, as app reputation consists of rates your app has and reviews your app has. So in such a way, a Google or, or Apple algorithm check all these factors and decides if the app can get an increase in positions. Of course, even the app with the rating 2.0 can occupy top one for some search requests. But anyway, it is much more easier to put the app to top if the rating is high and if the app has positive reviews. Uh, according to the statistics provided by Aptantiv, uh, we may see that uh, app rating as well influences the conversion rates. As users say that the lower the star rating of the game is, uh, the less probably they will download this app. So you can clearly see this on the screenshot. In general, it is extremely important to work with reviews as well, and it is needed to know at least some basic principles which can help your game to get more positive feedback. One of the most widespread mistakes uh, is uh, not answering to reviews. First of all, you should answer all the reviews, both positive ones and negative ones. If for positive reviews, you can thank uh, for the feedback, say that you appreciate this, for negative reviews, basically, you should do the same. And for example, if user says that something is not working in the app, you should fix it and reply with the reviews reply. In such a way, user can even change his negative review to the positive one. Uh, so also, I would like to pay attention to the differences of uh, stores and to the differences we have in uh, promotion strategies. To be honest, very often when a developer or a marketing manager is working usually with Google Play and starting to work with App Store, the same strategy may be applied. But that's not correctly as stores algorithm are completely different. For example, if you are talking about keywords promotion for Google Play, it is better to promote your app for search requests connected with each other. I mean that uh, if you have Sudoku game, 
you would like to have top one for the search request Sudoku. Alongside, it is better to promote the app for the keywords Sudoku offline, Sudoku game, Sudoku for free. While for App Store, you can promote the app for search requests one by one and only for one search request. And even with such strategy, uh, you can get the positive increase in position and successful results. Uh, if we are talking about amount of installs to use to push your app to top, first of all, Google Play um, doesn't require so many installs. The more important factor for them is the length of campaign and, of course, app metrics. They pay a lot of attention to metrics, to in-app activity, to rates, when they decide if to increase your app in positions or no. While for App Store, for them, uh, the amount of installs the app gets for the keyword is much more important than uh, some in-app activity, for example. In such a way, the App Store algorithm uh, works the way that the more the app gets for the search request, the higher position in the list of apps it will have uh, on the store. If we are talking about some promotion results, Google Play algorithm also work, uh, works slower. Uh, they need time to update the positions. They need time to give new ranks and new positions to your game in uh, the store. As for the App Store, you just can start the promotion and check already the results next day or maximum in two, three days. And as I have already told, for Google Play, app metrics are much more important than for App Store. And at this stage, I would like to pay the attention to some examples we faced during the promotion of uh, games uh, in different regions for different types of keywords, for different types of search uh, requests, basically. So the first example, you may see that we have worked with Sudoku app and uh, I decided to give the results of Sudoku offline keyword promotion. Uh, alongside, we promoted the app for the connected keywords like Sudoku games, Sudoku games and Sudoku for free. Uh, here you may see that basically the strategy for Google Play is used where I told that the minimum uh, amount of days in campaign should be five, seven, because Google algorithm likes long campaigns. And here the strategy was every day increase in installs used. So we have started with the seventh position. The region was the USA. And uh, to be honest, the promotion in the USA and in top 10 for the search request is the hardest one. And after the campaign, uh, we managed to achieve top two. The next example is foreign games in the USA as well, but we have started already with lower position at the beginning. So the app was on the 39th place when user typed farm games in the store in the USA. And the same strategy for Android, five days every day increased uh, and we managed to achieve top one with this keyword. So the app uh, was in top for this keyword for some period of time. Uh, this, uh, this third example, it is completely different and I would like to explain why. Um, keyword fruits game, search request um, region Australia and the start position was 243rd. So we started from the bottom of the app list. And basically, we decided that we will start with low amount of installs. So the app get three, five keyword installs daily. And in such a way, we managed to achieve uh, top 20, where we already increased the amount of installs and achieved top two. So basically, the logic is the same. The long campaign for Google uh, with every day increase in the installs, which app gets for particular search request. And as a result, uh, we managed to achieve uh, the second position on the store. So the app was visible on the second position in Australia for the keyword fruits game in uh, three weeks. The 
this example is for uh, Great Britain. It was promotion of Apple app. Uh, it was match three puzzle and we decided to choose keyword match three games. Uh, to be honest, the Apple promotion in Great Britain is not so difficult as in the USA, for example. But anyway, it is also a popular region and it is also competitive region. So we have started with top 10, added 250 installs and managed to achieve top two with this search request. This second example for Apple as well, as well, it was a driving simulator and the keyword crash car. You may see that a little bit different strategy is applied, but anyway, we may see that here we used higher amount of installs. We tested here on the first day when the position was 41st and noted that the increase for the keyword was for several points. So we decided to increase to, and added 100 installs daily during three days. With such a strategy, with high amount for App Store, we managed to achieve top one. Uh, so the app is visible for the request crash car in Great Britain on App Store. But we haven't stopped the installs. We continued installs just to keep the position as so we decided that this keyword is important and the most relevant for the app. The last example for App Store, it was solitary game and basically it was uh, France. We managed to achieve uh, top two and started with the position to uh, tw 23rd, sorry. And in several days, we achieved top and 100 installs uh, was used. So with these examples, uh, I would like to summarize and say that even uh, for games app, it is possible to get top positions in different popular regions for different high frequencies, so popular as well, keywords. Uh, but anyway, before starting any type of promotion, keyword one as well, it is needed to work with the, the app because not always keyword installs can make a miracle when you do not work with ASO, uh, when you do not work with the keywords researches uh, themselves, uh, when you do not pay attention to app reputation, do not work with the overall rating of the app, do not work with positive reviews, with negative reviews, and of course, it is important to check app metrics before starting any type of promotion because uh, keyword promotion particularly depends on the app as well. And of course, as we have just discussed, uh, it is needed to pay attention to the store you work with. Uh, app store optimization differs a lot for Google Play and for App Store as well as uh, the strategies to choose for the keyword promotion. Uh, anyway, um, I wish uh, every one of you to occupy top positions uh, in Google Play or App Store, depending on the store you work with, and uh, occupy these positions for some high frequency keywords, which can get the app the organic traffic and if you have some questions you can ask now or, or contact me later with telegram provided uh, i will be really happy to help and to share the strategies some secrets which might may be helpful for you uh, while you optimize the app for google play or for app store or when you are going to start the keyword promotion and to try this type of promotion with your game so that, that's all actually for today uh, thank you thank you Lena. <laughs> Uh, we have some comments in our chat. Uh, wow, Elena, this is amazing. Thank you for great presentation. Yeah, for supporting you. We have one question in uh, the chat. Can I delete negative reviews? Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, sometimes, to be honest, stores uh, delete negative reviews by themselves. They can, uh, in Google Play, for example, you can make uh, uh, inquiry to Google Play that this review 
is not connected with your app. It is spam, for example. In such a way, the store will check the review and delete if it is real spam or something like this. Uh, if we are talking about some ways, I suppose it is better to try to overcome negative reviews with positive one. For example, to try to get more featured positive reviews. There are different ways. So like one of the ways is to order reviews to buy from services. Uh, where you can provide your tax or order the tax from services. Anyway, I suppose it is a kind of of better way <laughs> working with reviews just to start to get new positive reviews and of course to improve your app to show your users the that you are doing all the improvements they are asking for. Yeah, to show that you care. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that you appreciate the feedback. That's important. That's really so important and influences the conversion rates a lot. Because uh, most app developers may think that uh, users do not pay attention to the reviews and pays attention only to some uh, graphics or something like this. But reviews are read by users. Read. <laughs> um, OK, one, one question for me. Uh, what is your personal number one tip um, for developer in order to completing this this single tip number one tip it can drastically increase uh, the position on the search oh, first of all as i said work with app store optimization really because um, you can use keyword installs and they help, they really help. But if you do not work with optimization, uh, keyword installs wouldn't do a miracle. And miracle wouldn't happen if you do not work with the app. I would, first of all, recommend to work with the app. Do not uh, just think that some uh, some traffic can give good positions or something like this. You need to, to pay attention to all the factors I, ma I mentioned and even more. So that's the first tip. Work with the app, with app reputation, with app store optimization, with app metrics. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Elena, for this amazing talk. Uh, I have personally found some cool ideas. Thank you for this. And I wish you good luck. Thanks for joining us today and have a great day. Thank you. Bye.